Hi, in this video I will uh, show you how you can connect your phone to your laptop and make it so that it actually is seen by your laptop and also that you can transfer files, uh, delete files, copy, move, whatever. It didn't work uh, straight out of the box with my Windows PC and every other tutorial I was looking at on YouTube did not show this solution. So I uh, found this solution that worked for me and maybe it will work for you from the beginning I will tell you the solution it is installing the media feature pack so if you don't know how to do it we will do it together in this video so let's get to it so here we have the laptop the phone is here to the side let's turn on the laptop and first let's try connecting the phone to the computer it makes the connecting sound and as you can see there is nothing here on the screen as you can see, uh, the phone is connected, the phone is charging, but it is not connected and it does not show on the screen. So how we can fix it? Basically, you go press the Windows key and type optional and select manage optional features. Here you click on add feature and you write media. After writing media, you have here the media feature pack. You just uh, check that box, add it, and now you wait a few seconds till this gets installed on your computer. After you install this, you have to reboot your computer or laptop to have effect. I will unplug my USB so that we can uh, um, uh, we can plug it back in when the laptop is back uh, from rebooting. So we'll wait a little bit. So for me, this took about five minutes. And as you can see here, reboot is required. I'll just reboot here my laptop and see if it works. Let's do it. So I logged back in. I'll go into my computer and now I'll connect my Samsung phone. And now, as we can see, it says Galaxy here, Galaxy Note 9. And from the phone, it's asking me, do you want to allow access? Uh, deny or allow I'm going to click on allow and now the phone appears here and I can open and look at the card look at my downloads my pictures which are here in DCIM in camera and I can view my pictures all the good stuff copy them and do whatever and voila this has been the tutorial I hope you found this useful if it helped you out leave a comment below give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more nice videos see you next time goodbye